वेलकम ऑल वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो कोर्स वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर फाइव मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ पाइपिंग लेआउट्स एंड डिजाइन लेट एस सी व्हाट आर दीज फाइव मॉड्यूल्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर पाइप पैक कंप्रेसर्स हीट एक्सचेंजर्स कॉलम्स एंड पंप्स इन दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी एस्पेक्ट रिलेटेड टू ईच मॉड्यूल सो लेट एस फर्स्ट लुक एट व्हाट आर द वेरियस थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस कोर्स इन डिटेल वन बन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस कोर्स दिस इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव सेक्शन थर्टी टू लेक्चर्स एंड टोटल फाइव आर ड्यूरेशन लेट एस सी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल वट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इज पाइप ट्रैक ले आउट डिजाइन एंड पाइपिंग इंटर कनेक्शन डायग्राम विच इज टॉप मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट वाइल डिजाइनिंग दी पाइप ट्रैक पाइपिंग वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वेरियस थिंग्स हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप interconnecting diagram what is the importance what are the outcomes from this diagram then criteria to decide rack width how we are going to decide the pipe rack width how many lines we are going to add how we are going to decide the width of the pipe rack then how we are going to decide the number of tiers okay this is uh, important thing width and number of tiers how we are going to decide who are the various stakeholders who are involved while deciding all these things what are the various parameters which we consider to calculate all these thing then criteria to decide transverse beam elevation there will be so many beams east west up down okay all those things we are going to cover in this section then operational maintenance and access requirement this is a critical thing because we are de uh, designing pipe rack so that it can be used at site so what are the various maintenance aspects operational access requirement all those things shall be covered in this part then how we are going to decide the spacing between pipes so there are few general guidelines which we need to use while designing the pipe rack so all those things will be discussed in this part again battery limit guideline what are the different kind of battery limits when we are going to use why we are having so many configurations so all those aspects shall be covered here then basic uh, guidelines related to supporting and flexibility requirements in pipe rack that section shall also be covered generally we have uh, a few equipment and platforms on rack so what what are those equipment how we are going to place what kind of platforms we require so all those things shall be covered in first module compressor layout design and piping this is very important aspect very important module of piping layouts in this part what we are going to discuss is various type of compressors okay which are commonly used in uh, oil and gas industry what are various drives whether it is electrical driven or steam driven or gas driven why and when we are going to use these kind of drives that shall also be discussed then compressor auxiliaries there are so many auxiliary items which are associated with compressor in any of the layouts for example suction drum dampeners volume bottles lube oil console run down tanks cooling water console so all these things are associated with any compressor layout we are going to discuss how we are going to associate with compressor and how we are going to design the compressor shelters and layout steam turbine and its associated items steam turbine is very uh, typical thing which we are going to use in oil and gas industry so these item and its associated items shall also be covered then there are so many governing factors to decide the compressor elevation so all those permutation combination shall be uh, discussed in this part along with that we are going to discuss various typical guidelines which we are going to use while finishing our compressor piping for reciprocating as well as centrifugal compressor we are going to cover the basic guidelines so this is what we are going to cover in the second module third module is related to column we are going to cover the layout aspect as well as its piping so let us see what we are going to cover in this part in this module functioning of distillation column in this part we will discuss how distillation columns work and what are the various circuits associated items are available then what are various inputs which we require while starting its layout then criteria to decide the column elevation there are few factors which are governing while deciding the elevation of a column all those aspects shall be covered then we we'll look into column internals this is very important while deciding the nozzle orientation which shall be 
uh, which I'll also be discussed in detail in this part. What are various type of nozzles and what are the various factors to decide each and every nozzle so that we can, once we go through this, we can uh, do the nozzle orientation for any of the columns. Then ladder and platforms, those are associated with any column how we are going to orient it, why we are having so many configuration, all those aspects shall be covered in this part. Then guidelines for column piping. There are few thumb rules, few guidelines which in any column piping we have to do. So those aspects shall also be covered. Supporting and flexibility aspects shall also be covered so that once we are finalizing our layout, all these aspects are covered before going to stress steam. Okay, so all those things shall be captured and uh, uh, shall be explained in detail. Operational and maintenance requirement. All those things shall also be covered. How we are going to locate, okay, what are the various things which we need to keep in mind while finalizing the location of columns. So all those things shall be covered in the third module of this video lecture. Heat exchangers. Layout and piping. This is also an uh, important part in piping industry we are going to cover basic definitions and its classification we are going to cover how we are uh, classifying the exchangers into different categories what are the various criteria then construction and operational features shall also be covered what are the various inputs required to start the exchanger layout how we are going to fix the elevation uh, location in plot plan as you know the plot exchangers are associated with so many other items all those items shall also be covered and we'll come to know how we are going to decide the location in a particular plot plan then again exchangers are something for which uh, elevation is not mentioned in pin id so we'll come to we'll discuss what are the various criteria to decide the exchanger elevations then basic guidelines to complete the exchanger piping what are the various uh, operational and maintenance requirement while completing the piping that shall also be covered then there will be few guidelines to optimize the layout okay how we can optimize the space how we can optimize the piping so that operational and maintenance aspects are covered so this is what we are going to cover in fourth module of this section <coughs> fifth module is pump pump layout design and its piping we are going to cover basic definition and various types of pumps okay then NPSH requirement what is NPSH what are various problems and solutions related to this then cavitation what is what are the various causes and how we can mitigate components of piping suction pump suction piping okay we'll look into each and every component of suction piping how we are going to place what is the importance why we are doing so all those aspects shall be discussed similarly for discharge piping also we'll look into each and every component and how we are going to place it then basic guidelines thumb rules related to pump piping stress analysis recommendation which we need to take care in advance before sending it to stress so all those things shall also be covered then we'll look into pump seal system okay this is a very important part uh, most of the time we get this information at later stage of the project but still we need to keep in mind while finalizing the layout various pump piping configurations so this is also important we have different type of pumps different type of nozzle configuration and then piping associated with that all those aspects which we need to take care in our mind those shall also be covered in this fifth model of layout and piping design so this is how we are going to cover these five modules this is divided into 32 lectures and it will take five hours to complete it i'm sure if many of you have already uh, done some piping related to pipe rack compressor column exchangers and pumps so maybe you can use this to refresh your fundamentals so that uh, you, we can implement it immediately on ongoing jobs or maybe you can keep it as a record for future reference also or you can share it with your uh, colleagues so that they can implement it to improve the productivity and to improve the layouts so see you in the next course